This short video will cover just the batch editing features of Action Grid. There's three ways that you can batch edit or mass update data in Action Grid, and we'll cover all of these. Plus, we'll show you how to control the editability so you can uh, control the security of the particular fields if you don't want to give people full rights to edit everything. So let's start with my favorite, which is the dirty opportunity data, closed dates, something like that, highlighted here. Uh, with the yellow from conditional formatting. So this method is the easiest way, I think, and you just simply edit a single row and change the date accordingly. And then you lasso the dirty row, the row that's been edited, plus any destination row. So you just lasso those rows, like so, and then you choose the action, batch, edit, fill down. I like this method because you'll notice that the little red caret indicates the data is dirty. It has not yet been committed to Salesforce and you can revert that change. But in this case I'm just going to save it and that's the fill down method. Second method is the more traditional mass update where you, you want to select a, a large amount of data. In this case we have the page size at 500. We have more than we can select here with 1900 but this could be 19 million and Action Grid will handle it. So you select all in this case, or you could select just individual rows. But in this case, we're going to go Actions, Mass Update, Batch Edit, Mass Update. Now it's going to prompt us and say, wait a second, you've got more rows than, uh, than are selected. Would you like to do all 1,900 or 19 million of them? And you'll just say OK to that. And we get a little warning about record types, but we can ignore that. And then it's going to prompt with every field that's on the grid. Uh, but that can actually be controlled as well. So you can turn off that if, if you like. So in this case, we're going to change the position, uh, oh, sorry, the role. And we'll change that role to player. What's going to happen is it's going to go off and do its thing and then send us an email when it's done. Because imagine if this was 19 million. It would take quite a while. So we're going to dismiss that. It's probably done already. Um, and indeed it is. So this is the email that we get. And you'll notice the validation errors occur just like if you were editing rows in Salesforce proper. Uh, these particular ones are some required field errors and some spaces in uh, email address names and so forth. So that's how we do big mass updates. And then the last one, uh, actually before we show that, I want to show configurability of the mass update. So you can turn off in Action Grid Setup, you can turn off the inline, adding, inline editing and the mass update features and then save those rows. So before I had the account field and if I just turn that off or turn off the phone number field like so and save that in this case for all users, but you can do it for profiles and users uh, and save that, now that, that field would no longer be available for mass updating, but it would uh, be available for inline editing. And then let's show the last method, uh, which is a find replace situation. So here is a, a classic scenario where maybe the email addresses have changed or the domain or something like that. So it's going to be the find and replace feature. So find and replace works just like Excel or Word or any find and replace feature where it's going to do a partial string. Now it's only going to work on text fields. So the only fields it prompts me for is text fields. But what we're going to do is we're just going to replace Denver Broncos with getactiongrid.com like so. Or I don't need the .com since I'm only replacing that part. And it's going to just replace inside of that. It found and replaced just like you would do in Excel. And notice the little caret here indicating that it's not been edited or saved yet, I should say. And so this time I will just demonstrate the revert feature to undo that change. So that completes our lesson for today. Happy action gridding.